What is going on guys, Grave here today. I'd like to talk about update 3.3 for Battlefield 2042, which will be released tomorrow, Tuesday, March the 8th. There will be no downtime for this update. They said everything will be uh, fine once you update the game. You don't have to worry about you know not being able to log in. As soon as the update is done, you can log in and play. They said there will be a more of a kind of, I guess, uh, fixes for some other things in game later down the road sometime in April. This update, update 3.3, is mainly adding in those things that they have been talking about over the last couple months. Things like the scoreboard. That will be added in tomorrow as well. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. I will link these patch notes down in the description if you'd like to read over them for yourself. It says they revealed their plans back in January after community feedback for a scoreboard UI. They said what they plan on doing is keeping the match overview as well as having a scoreboard. So the match over, uh, overview has been improved and placed on the left of the screen. This still shows the same information as it did before, but the scoreboard will also show a team versus team split look for certain team-based modes, such as Conquest, Breakthrough, Rush, and Team Deathmatch, alongside the inclusion of death stat on that scoreboard. So now when you pull up, you know, like you had in the past, and you saw the match overview, you will see a match overview on the left, and then the actual scoreboard like we've seen in, uh, in the past, 64 on 64, 32 on 32, whatever you're playing will be shown there so you can see everyone on each individual team and see their score as well. This is while these uh, changes were some that were really requested by, uh, you know, all the Battlefield 2042 players, they still plan on making further improvements to the new scoreboard system. They also talked about some other things within this update, all Battlefield 2042 Gold Edition, Ultimate Edition, Year One Pass, Year One Pass and Ultimate Pack upgrade owners and the EA Play subscribers can now enjoy the Steadfast exclusive Legendary Bundle. That will be added in tomorrow as well when the update goes live. This was a thank you from the entire Battlefield team. This will have a Zero Resistance skin for McKay, the Grasshopper weapon skin, the Rapid Hammer weapon skin, the Iron Chariot vehicle skin, the Rib Tickler melee weapon skin, also the Resolute player card background, and the Steadfast player icon. Also, there will be a few small fixes within update 3.3, but they, like, like I said kind of at the start, most of the big in-game fixes are going to be coming with the update in April. But some of those small fixes, they fix crashes that occur on Origin or Xbox when you're signing in and out using an Xbox One controller. The setting chat key bindings no longer requires a game restart to take effect. Adjusted aim assist on console to ensure that the system is in effect when analog sticks are at 100% of their range. Previously, it was only active at ranges below 100%. They fixed a bug where takedowns would not result in a kill on Xbox One and PS4, and they established new locations for the EU data center uh, as well. Also, for modes, Conquest, and Breakthrough, they fixed a bug where securing the objective XP event was triggered even after a capture point had already been fully captured. In Hazard Zone, they fixed a visual bug displaying uh, squad mates during the match find sequence and also fixed a bug where the end of round XP gains were not triggering correctly in Hazard Zone. They said they plan on listening to more of the valuable community feedback. Uh, also, they're planning on, like I said, making some big changes, gameplay changes they say in April. We'll kind of have to wait and see. We've heard this for a while now and it seems like a lot of these updates keep getting delayed and it's been a while since we've had a substantial updating game that really fixed anything. I know a lot of people will be excited about the scoreboard returning if you're still playing. But as most people that play have played Battlefield 2042, I think a lot of people are just disappointed that there's not been enough updates out to really improve these gameplay features and add some new stuff in at the same time, or at least a lot of gameplay improvements to get the game in a great playable state so it kind of keep the community going. There's still a good bit of people playing. A lot of people say they see bots in games now. Some do not. It just kind of depends on what platform you're on, I think. But when it comes to player stats, they're definitely down compared to what they were when the game first launched. And I'm hoping that some of these updates will improve the game enough to where it is a better game in the future and a more playable game uh, in the future for everyone that had purchased it or may purchase it uh, kind of going forward. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the new scoreboard and the few changes they made within update 3.3. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.